Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to take a look in on the Eat My Shirt bin. It's been a while since we've looked in on this. So let's see what they've been up to. Playing in the bubble wrap. Okay, I think we uh, got this pretty wet in here. So, um, I've been pretty worried about them staying at a good moisture with the furnace going all the time. May have overdone it, I don't know. It looks a little bit overdone. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it's, it'll be okay. I'll just leave the bubble wrap off this time. But let's see where we are with that shirt. Looks like we got a couple of uh, avocado seeds that are... Well, they're not sprouting, but they don't look super dead either. They haven't turned black or anything. Okay, still trying to find the shirt. Okay, so, okay, that, okay, yeah. That might have been why it was balled up in the corner. It's really having having a rough time. This shirt's uh, no match for the worms. Yeah, that's the uh, the base of like the around the sleeves, around the neck, and around the waistline. That fabric, even if it says 100% cotton on the t-shirt, yeah, that thread at the bottom and stuff is is not. Uh, cotton. And it will be the last thing in there if you leave it. Looks like I haven't, they haven't cleaned off the, it entirely, so maybe I'll leave a little bit of it. I'll take out the part that's not got any fabric left on it. So I'll put the date below as to when we started this t-shirt. But it is certainly not long for this world. And I'm not just feeding t-shirts. This is you know, been having the food put on the t-shirt so that the microbes and everything can get at it. But uh, I think I just balled the t-shirt up like that so we could find it again because it was in such rough, sh rough shape. Alright, well, put that over there. Whoops. I think I have another t-shirt I could probably add to this bin, give them something extra to do. Let me go grab that. All right, so here's another t-shirt. Brand, well, it's not brand new, but it's served its purpose in, in my wardrobe, let's put it that way. Let's, uh, maybe it'll soak up some of this extra water, too get it kind of started there. But I don't see any food food left in here except for the uh, mountain of avocado pits. Okay. I might be exaggerating. It might not be a whole mountain. Alright, let me go grab some food for these guys. Alright, looks like we've got some lemon. Kind of bury that in with the shirt. Maybe under. Let's go for under. Starting to have a fruit fly problem again here. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more diligent about burying the food. I'm going to have to uh, get my fruit fly traps started again. I think I have a video for that if you guys are interested to see how I keep the fruit flies down in my wormery. There we go. And I'll just put all of this super wet stuff on top. Put that on top of the other old t-shirt and... Well, this is a really a mess, isn't it? Alright. Yeah. Leaving the bubble wrap off of this. For sure. Alright, I think I got everything covered. I don't have any dry paper down here. I'd probably add a little bit more dry paper. Look at this little hitchhiker. Hey, hey, now you go in there. All right, well, this is the Eat My Shirt Bin, uh, part of the series of uh, 
things that are no good to go to Goodwill or the Salvation Army, I'm going to have my worms eat them. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.